Okay, so today we are going to talk about the recovery speed while running. Now, recovery used in the term of actually getting your foot back to the beginning of your stride as quickly as possible, not the rest and recovery from previous workouts, which is probably what you would prefer to hear today. <laughs> Anyway, I do have a little video that I'm going to show that will uh, demonstrate exactly what I'd like you to do in some of the new drills and some of the main set drills uh, that I will be asking you to do in this workout. But we are going to start off as we normally do with a gradual ramp up, starting with walking and every two minutes just picking up the intensity until you hit about a moderate intensity run. Nothing too crazy, just enough to get the heart rate up, to start feeling good, get that blood pumping. Then you're going to follow it up with a nice uh, reset walk. Uh, feel free, great time to grab a drink if you did bring anything and uh, just bring the heart rate back down. From there, we move into our regular drill sequence with the addition of two new drills. So that will be drill number nine and 10. However, it is the same drill. You're just doing one leg, then the other leg. So we're gonna go back to marching, except your focus is bringing that leg through a little bit quicker or one leg through a little bit quicker. Again, I'm gonna show you a video that demonstrates this at a running intensity, but you're gonna be doing the exact same thing just at a walking intensity. So once you move through the drill sequence, again, another little reset walk before we get into a main set drill sequence. So this is again, a video that I will show you in a second where you are essentially trying to drive one leg through a lot quicker for 30 seconds. You're gonna exaggerate the knee break or bring the heel to the bum, which shortens the lever arm, which hopefully allows the hip flexors to bring that leg through quicker and get your foot back to the start of your stride as quick as possible. So you do 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds where you're bringing the other leg through quick, and then one minute jog where you are exaggerating that heel to bum action. From there, another little walk reset before we get into our last little drill or build sequence where you're gonna go back, back to marching, Again, work on those mechanics of bringing the heel to the bum. Then you'll do some high knees, which will farther engage the hip flexors, which are the prime movers in getting your leg back to the beginning of the stride. Then some strides, which is basically just the quickest cadence or foot speed that you can hold. And then finishing off with your natural sprint. <laughs> or unnatural sprint <laughs> from there a little bit of walk recovery reset and then do it again once you finish that all up you have a nice easy cool down and you can call it a day so let's flip over to the video here for a second and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so a regular run and you can see right now i'm doing more of a shuffle run the heels aren't coming up very high. I don't have much of a knee break. This tends to happen when we're doing longer distance running or you're fatiguing. As you start to pick up the pace, you can see the knee break uh, or the heel coming up a little bit more. Again, that shortens the lever arm, allows it to come through. And when I talk about the recovery phase, I'm really talking about this toe off phase all the way to the point where you get that foot back to the beginning again. So that would be the knee break, the shorter lever arm you can see as you bring the heel up and then right back to the start of the run. And this would be that exaggerated knee break or heel to bum. Again, you can see shorter lever arm should be able to come through a little quicker. So this would be the one leg coming through. You can see I'm doing every other step here. So every other step, I'm doing that heel to the bum, bringing it through quickly. And this would be every step on the leg that's closest to you coming through quickly. And you can see the far leg is just running as normal where this one really breaks, the, the leg closest to the uh, screen or you <laughs> really breaks. So that's what I'm trying to achieve or have you achieve on that drill set. And again, marching would be the exact same, except it will be at a walking intensity. So that is it for this workout. Hope you enjoy the run. Keep working on those mechanics. If it takes you a little bit of practice to time making one leg do something different than the other leg, 
trust it may take a little bit of time and practice to get that right but stick with it and you will be recovering with a faster <laughs> leg speed than uh hopefully ever before so enjoy the run until next time take care bye bye